Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inga and I want to welcome everyone who's decided to join me today. Um, my phone might be shaking, I'm holding it in my hand. Uh, but soon, pretty soon, I am hoping to invest in a proper uh, camera for YouTube. So hopefully uh, things will change uh, soon <laughs> so yes yeah, so again I just thank you for stopping by and for uh, your patronage and I hope you're blessed by everything that goes on here I am starting a series called a song and a word I was thinking to start this about two years ago I can't believe the time has flown by that year in COVID-19 quarantine, I, my goodness, two years ago, actually, a little over two years ago, and I did not. But last night, or was it this morning, I think I was in a doze. I think I woke up and then went back in a doze and had a dream that I actually started it. So I think that was God saying, it's time. It's really time now to do that. So I hope that you really enjoy this series. I'm going to do it for as long as I'm impressed to. I don't know how many times a week I'll do it, but whenever I'm impressed to um, bring the song and the word, I will. So before we go any further, let me make sure I have my... <sighs> okay. before we go further I would just like to pray if you are like-minded you can pray with me or if not that's okay too all right so I'm just gonna say a short prayer before I begin father I just want to thank you so much for everyone you brought to this channel and I pray that everyone will be blessed by everything that is said here whatever it is that they need I pray that you would minister to their heart and that it will be such a an encouragement for them um, uplifting them guiding them comforting them whatever it is um, in whatever area of their life so we just bless you and thank you again for what you're going to do through this channel in jesus name amen thank you so much all right so i'm going to start off with the word actually i know it's a song and a word but i'm going to do the word and then i'm going to do the song so the word comes from isaiah chapter 11 verse 4 this reading is from the new English translation it says he will treat the poor fairly and make right decisions for the downtrodden of the earth he will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and order the wicked to be executed I'm gonna read it again he will treat the poor fairly and make right decisions for the downtrodden of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and order the wicked to be executed. That's such a powerful word. And um, I was like, wow, Lord, many times in my life, I know because things have not been perfect the way I have hoped Things have not moved along as quickly as I thought they could have. And sometimes, you know, I blame myself, you know, and different things. But today, God gave me this word. He says he's going to make right decisions for the downtrodden. And I remember God gave me a word also that he's going to fight for me and I'm not going to uh, be fighting in this battle. Usually when I say God gives me a word, it would be different people that I know would send me the scripture or just in my devotional time I'd get more than one scriptures but there's always that one that other people have sent me so I get it like three or four times or I get in the sermon I hear and I know okay God really needs to pay attention to this right now I think that scripture is from Exodus um, I'll put the scriptures in the description box for you so you can take a look at them in your spare time. 
uh, that scripture that is quite popular in Christendom. It says, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yes, Exodus chapter 14. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, this is when they were coming over the Red Sea, coming through the Red Sea, and the Egyptians were following close behind them. Right? I'm going to read verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. And verse 14 says, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And they literally did not have to fight. They literally did not have to fight. And I know many times there are things that we need to do. There are instructions that God gives us. Sometimes we take what we have done. Um, and we take the praise for it. We take the glory to ourselves. And sometimes God literally has to uh, keep us in a holding place. Where we are not able to do um, certain things. And we literally have to let him do what he's doing. And wait on him and the waiting sometimes is not about what you literally do it's actually about a mindset okay God I've done this okay God I've done this where is it Where, where's my promise I mean you said you were gonna do this once I fall in alignment and once I do this and do that and, and follow the instructions I've done the instructions now I'm ready for my cookie you know what I'm saying <laughs> but Sometimes the waiting really is about our heart, where our heart is. Do we trust God? You know, and what in our in our waiting period, um, what is Christ? What is He trying to teach us? And are we learning the lessons from that? Uh, that holding place. Everybody had a holding place at one time, and um, it was for them to see and know God know how God works and also for us to realize that God is the one who's in control once we have submitted to him we have to allow him to work in his own time because he has the wisdom in all things he knows what's going on behind the scenes he knows men's hearts best so it makes sense right to just let him do what he's doing but sometimes we want to take the reins and and and, and work everything out and sometimes it's not good because we can end up saying well i did this and i did that and let me show you how to do it and if you don't do it like that you're not gonna get it, the same results but we need to know that regardless of what we do or don't do it is god who ultimately brings the results yes he wants us to be obedient and follow the instructions and the guidance and, and everything that he he has said to us but also we have to understand that there's a work that he's doing in hearts and in situations that we can't do. And he's doing that by his spirit. So um, sometimes I feel so downtrodden when I look at my life, you know, and, but God took this scripture and he reminded me, listen, well, not reminded because I don't think I knew of this scripture before, but he showed me, said, I'm going to make the decisions. You know, and a lot of times I don't know what decision to make. Can I be honest? I don't know. they there are different choices. There, 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 sometimes it's not just clear cut. You could choose from so many things. I'm like, oh, but I want to know that the one choice that I make is really where God is leading me. And God says, I'm going to make the decisions. I'm taking it out of your hands. So you can relax. And know like, you know, like when you go to your father and you know your father can really do this for you. It's like, okay, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. You go home and you lay down and you sleep. I mean, why aren't we like that when, with God when God says something? You know, just like, ah, oh, so let it go. We just, we have to cultivate that. I'm learning to cultivate that kind of a manner with my Heavenly Father. Um, Just know that He says He's going to take care of it. He's going to do it. And I can just let go. I can just let go. So that's the word on today. God is making the decisions for you and not just that, but he is going to smite the wicked. He's ordering them to be executed. That right there tells me that 
all the wicked entities that were against you, that tried to prevent you from being, becoming or achieving what God wanted in your life, God is going to put a stop to it, to them. And um, he is a, a mighty God, but he is a terrible God. He's terrible in the sense that you don't want to play games because there are consequences. And there are consequences for doing wickedness when we know it's wickedness and when we just choose to rebel and turn away from God. There are terrible and dire consequences. And when God says, I'm ordering the wicked to be executed, he says it and it's going to happen. You know, so that was his word. That was his word. So just be encouraged that those situations are not going to be a problem for you anymore. Take God at his word. Take God at his word. What he means, he says, and he says what he means. All right? So, my song. In my moments of fear, through every pain, every tear, there's a God who's been faithful to me. When my strength was all gone, when my heart had no song, still in love he was faithful to me. is true what I thought was impossible I see my God do he has been faithful faithful to me looking back his love and mercy I see, though in my heart I have questioned, even failed to believe, yet he has been faithful, faithful to me. God has been faithful. And he will continue to be faithful. We can really trust him. We can really, really trust him. So start trusting him today and know that he's taking care of things for you. He's taking it out of your hands. And he has taken care of it. It's already done. Okay, be blessed. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.